We begin Tuesday's press review in Nigeria with Daily Sun. Northern elders cry out over insecurity. We are at mercy of terrorists. They lament. Top security operatives don't want end to insecurity. GNI. The Guardian writes, Despair as Hoodlum such security meeting in Kaduna. Attackers and just participants cut away valuables. The nation says, military, abducted people taken away on motorcycles, kidnappers demand ransom, and to aerial surveillance. Vanguard right, Katsina abduction, two students killed by kidnappers, SKP. The Punch says, Katsina mass abduction, bandit first took school boys to neighboring villages. Resident. Soinka Lampoon's presidency responds to killing, says Buhari not in charge. In Zimbabwe, the Herald Right, Sadek tackles Mosa insurgency, and Mayor Mafume arrested again for bribery. Daily News says Bandit threatened regional security as Sadek moves to counter Mozambique insurgency. Ghanaian Times write, 44 die, 169 injured in road crashes during election period. And minority protests, stolen election verdicts, but majority disagrees. Daily Guide says, NDC Guru threatens police. We know where your families are. And NPP leads NDC in parliament with one seat. In Uganda, Daily Monitor write, UN Freezy staff travel to Uganda. Red flap. The United Nations in a December 12 memo tells staff that it has put on hold all non-social external mission struck visit to Uganda as they monitor the security situation in the country. And finally, we end in Kenya with Daily Nation is this story. State House run too big a risk, a layer of all power. In the dispensation proposed by the Building Bridges Initiative vying for the presidency may be a foolhardy, as it could amount to losing everything. Top politicians, including second-term governors, are likely to seek constituency seat with the hope of being appointed prime minister, deputy prime minister, or cabinet secretary. That's it for today. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.